Mug, October 2014. Own cloud. if it's been compiled, it's open source, so if you can compile it for it, run not. And also has to run MySQL and Apache, or some kind of web server. I think Apache by default was joined. I wouldn't suggest it. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, and then it's kind of like Google Hangout or Google uh, Docs, where you can uh, share files and you can uh, collaborative edit files together. And uh, it's kind of like iCloud, where you can sync your calendar and your contacts and your pictures. Uh, it has a lot of things all built in, and it's all open source, and you can run it on your own computer, your own hardware at home. So, so, so you say it's like these, how is it better than all these things? You can run it on your own computer at home, <laughs> your own control. <laughs> so it's, hence, it's your own cloud. Yeah. You just have to give the NSA a back door. <laughs> so, uh, They've already got one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, just as I said, you can, there's a lot of the features. Is you can do file sharing, file syncing. Um, you can integrate into GNOME to uh, to sync your calendars, um, and there's a, there's a lot to it. This just changed. I was all ready for the other view, and this, it's a responsive website, so now it looks a little bit different. But um, you can run it on your own access. You can get to it from your web browser or your Android or your iOS <coughs> devices. Uh, you can extend it with um, plugins. And other things like that. What kind of plugins? Uh, there's, if you want to write it, you can run it. How many plugins? plugins are out there right now? Uh, I didn't count, and uh, I haven't seen a number. I'm not sure, but there's a lot. There's a community-driven plugin section. By default, it comes with, I want to say about 20 plugins, and um, I mean, you've got everything what from. I don't know. I think it's the PHP is the base, like what the web yeah, runs okay. on, uh, and it uses MySQL database in the back end. Um, for a, like, if you're gonna run it by yourself and you want the easy setup, you can for uh, Debian, you can do an apt-get install. <coughs> I think when you run it that way, it runs a flat file instead of a database. So it's a real simple, easy way to go. It's real low performance at that point. Um, if you're gonna be running more than two or three people then you're going to want to make sure you're running on a, a MySQL database. And things like process flow and that type of thing so that you can collaborate? It has collaboration where you can have like two documents open, it, or a document open by multiple people, and it shows each person editing on the fly, and it shows who it is and who's all in it at once. Um, I have it set up with my phone where every time I take a picture, it will go ahead and uh, sync up, and I'm not, it, my phone's not working with my projector, but uh, I'm going to take a picture of everybody. Is there anybody specifically doesn't want to be in a picture? <laughs> <laughs> Say cheese. And, oh, and I also have to make sure, so the client on here will uh, you can set it to save data, so it's not going to be running over data all the time. You can tell it to only do it on um, wireless. On wireless. So right now cool. I have to connect to the wireless. <coughs> um, but from the, you can get to all your same files. The 
By default, it doesn't oh, sync all your folders, or it doesn't have a folder sync. There's a few pro apps you can get that will do a folder sync. Um, you can tell it to sync specific files, and it'll keep that, like when it gets changed by, by another computer, it will update it on your phone for you automatically. Are you having posted on that? service or do you have it hosted at home right now? I have it hosted at home right now. Uh, I think it runs okay. It's not, like if I had four or five people running this, I'd want a better computer to run it on. But I, right now, it's I'm running it on a uh, Pentium 4 hyper-threading with a gig of RAM. Um, and for storage, I have a terabyte of hard drive on it. What, but what, about, what about your network? Yeah, so that picture I just took, yeah. it synced over, and now Every picture I take syncs to uh, five different computers. Uh, the the on-cloud server, my desktop, my laptop, and this, and one other one I think. Your own Maybe computer. Software. What's your internet? Do you have any trouble with firewalls or netting? I have uh, two phones. Netting is, is completely outside of the scope, but I have Comcast at home. And what kind of thing? It's uh, 12 meg. I think it's Xfinity. We have to have a DNS service to get to your. I do have Dyn DNS, so it's not a static IP address. You don't have to have a static IP, but you have to have a name for your own cloud server to run right. Otherwise, uh, it's Dyn dynamic DNS. I, I used to use Dyn DNS. The right one, but yeah, it's uh, they closed their free service and. Um, Again, outside of the scope, I, I actually my registrar will allow me to run dynamic DNS. Um, right, DNS. Oh, you said the six of those five devices. Is that actually copy to those devices, or are those just all sharing those? No, like, it actually copies. It copies all to each one. Um, so there's the the client. There's a client. There's a server, and then the client. The server also allows you to do web dev connections, so you can mount the whole file system all your files as a web dev, then it's <coughs> held on the server and it's not on your PC. Um, right, yeah, it's, as you see, it's like a format that file. Picture is good well, quality, but the too. projector is not given it justice. No, it's a, it's a two meg file. Yeah, I think it's more the projector, and it's probably my laptop, too. Also, also I, it might not be compatible with what you can do. Right. So as you can see here, I have uh, this is the client that you can install. You can choose specific <coughs> folders to sync. So on my desktop computer at home, I have more syncing than I do on my laptop because I don't want everything synced over. There's um, like all my video files I don't need on my laptop, so I only sync a couple of them. Um, and it so it shows you how much space you're using and how much is free. So as you can see, it's showing 99 gigs of use, and then 525 free. I'm actually using a terabyte hard drive on there, but it's showing like my file size and then what the free space is. What's the encryption? Uh, the encryption, is, I'm using HTTPS. As you can see right here at the top, it's, uh, so it's whatever you want to set up on your server. But at rest, it's AES-256. Uh, I'm actually using the SHA-1 key, oh, so, so it's a, yeah, it's a pretty low encryption what I'm using right now, but I'm about to change that soon. <laughs> do you have to share own server for that? Or yeah, they, no, that's, it, because I'm running it on my own server, mm -hmm. then the, running it over HTTPS is everything on my site. I have to <coughs> manage that. So either I have to go through a, a CA to get a cert, or I can do a self sign. Is your self sign? Mine is self signed right now. So it's one to seven. The whole thing is running it at your own place at your server. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Okay, it's one to seven. The host name, the DNS name, is actual actual server is running on the own server. Right, yes, it's my own server. Yeah. So you see HTTPS, and because it has a slash, it's because it's a self signed cert. Uh, so 127 is the subdomain, so that's my actual, that's the server at my house. And then bemashosting.com is my main domain. But it's not running on this laptop, It's not running on this laptop, just the client. Um, and, and this is the web interface. 
sewer came in front of windows? I believe so. I'm not sure. Uh, as long as you, I, I'm pretty sure, as long as you can run Apache in MySQL, which you, I know you can. Um, so you can see here, you can go to the web interface, and you can get to your music or your, or your all your files through this interface. Um, it's, it's a responsive website, so it looks a little bit different here than if you were somewhere else uh, on a different computer or on a phone. Um, you can see, I'm going to go into this folder, it's my bin folder and it has all these folders and files. This is how I, the dot files, this is how I keep all my settings the same between all my computers, is I, I do a, a sync. Uh, so all my scripts are, I update it in one place, it updates across all the computers. And do you have a revision history so you can go back and see? No, no, this is just straight syncing. So if you need revision or history, you'd have to build in another backup system. Uh, like backup my PC will do things like that. Um, Did you register? Name cheap. Uh, and then you can see here, this is the actual folder on the laptop. And you can see all the same files and scripts as we have here in the web interface. Um, along the side, over here, you can share files and you can download them. Um, so, like, if I wanted to share it, I can click here. So, if you had a folder that wasn't shared, you want that file? No, that. I can share it out. And oh, yeah, there you go. It's pretty. You can share it to another user on the on cloud server, or you can say share a link, and I can just give that link out to somebody, and I can share off my file. Uh, oh, so now anybody that has that link can get to it. Right. And I can either leave it in the clear, where just anybody can grab it, uh, or if it's published, I can make it a password protected. Uh, it has email functions, it's just I don't have it set up right now. Uh, so I can take this link, copy that, post it into an email or an IM chat to somebody, then they can look at that same file. Um, now, as for, you can, I believe you can do it with folders also. Um, it has the share folders up here, and with, with the newest version 7, they've allowed server-to-server -server sharing, or enabled server-to-server -server sharing. So if I know somebody else running their own cloud, in my own cloud, we can link the two specific folders, and we can collaborate. Uh, and what that allows is previously, if I wanted to share that folder with my friend, he would have to log off of his own cloud, own cloud then log into my own cloud or use two different web browsers or two different instances. And then he'd be able to edit, we'd be able to collaborate, and then he'd have to go back to his own cloud. If he wanted that saved on his own cloud, he would have to save it, download it, and then resave it back into his own cloud files. Uh, so with the new version, it does server server, and it just shows up as a folder right within his own cloud. Um, some of the other features they've enabled is uh, external external sources for storage sources. So you can use uh, Google Drive, Dropbox, uh, other web dev, Amazon EC, or S3 um, storage. Um, what was the installation experience? Putting all this together. I mean, you're, you're well, it's, right. Uh, I was able to do it within a couple hours to have everything running reliably. Um, if you've never done it before, you can plan for a little bit more time. Um, because I already had a registrar <coughs> set up. I already had my server set up. Um, but like I said, you could do, uh, it's packaged within for Debian packages um, for the server and there's Red Hat packages. Um, but I chose to do the manual install, which means you, you download the, uh, the tar file, 
and it's, it's a bunch of PHP files in there. You dump it into your web root, because I already had MySQL and Apache installed. And, and, then, and then you configure it. I'm sorry? In PHP. Right. right. Yeah, well, it, it came default. It was a LAMP server I already set up, so MySQL, uh, or Apache, MySQL, PHP. Um, and then I configured it to have my data stored on a separate area from my web room, um, just for additional security. There's um, <coughs> some mobile syncing. It says mobile, or mobile and desktop syncing. I think like what I've shown with it does the instant picture uploads. Um, and you can do individual, but it's, it doesn't work the same as the desktop client. Do you have to have the client, but do they have a REST API that you can use for any? REST API, yeah. I'm not a programmer, so I don't know all the details about that, but uh, I have seen that word. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. You can, there's photo galleries. There used to be a music player built in, but it didn't work very well on older versions. Have you ever done calendars or contacts? I have not because I opted to use uh, Google Calendar, and I haven't found a way to have it all sync together. I actually There's use mine to get away from using Google for calendar and contacts. So yeah. all my calendars sync through my own cloud to my Android phone, mm -hmm. calendar, all of that. Yeah, that's really good. And I've really been debating about doing it. It's just my family calendar, and making my wife work with everything is, mm -hmm. makes it a little hard. Um, and then pick your battles wise. Exactly. <laughs> and that's how I decided to back up my wife's laptop is to have a sync through the own cloud. Cool. Um, and then I have a separate backup to an off site that's separate from own cloud. Because own cloud really is just a sync. It, it's not a formal backup solution. Um, it's kinda like Dropbox. You know, it, it syncs to the place, so you can sync it to another computer. You now have it on three different places. But there's no versioning. You can't go back in time to a specific time. You can integrate it with LDAP servers for Active Directory um, and for uh, contacts uh, searching. Uh, like I said, there's the REST API. Um, there's they have a corporate edition, so you can run it on your corporate servers. Uh, so a little bit more. Oh, what is their security? Does it have any auditing on their code or anything? I haven't really looked that far into it, um, so I'm not sure. But I watch a lot of the news, and I haven't seen any news about phone cloud being hacked or or uh, any big uh, security flaws come out. All right, so these are some of the different apps. So if we go over to uh, the documents. This new document. I have it shared with another. That was my phone. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have a, I have this document shared with another user, and I don't like this touch bit on this. Um, so, as we can see, that I have um, one side. <coughs> this side I've logged in as me. This side I have logged in as the other user, which is the admin user, which happens to be called root. It's not actually the root account. Um, so root can come over here and say hello. And then it's supposed to show up on the other. Hello. And then I, you know. Is that like only when it becomes active? It's okay. Um, it's a good question. I haven't really used it that much. Yeah, it kind of looks that way. Okay. Right. And, and more likely, if it's running on two different computers, you're constantly in there being active, then it'll be updating more often. Um, if, I think what they use in the back end of this is Etherpad. I don't know if everybody's heard of Etherpad. Mm -hmm. It's it's the same thing where you can edit and you can have multiple people editing and collaborating. Uh, it's just they've integrated it into one cloud. Just uh, seems to be that's uh, open documents. Yeah. So, so you it's can writers. Yeah. yeah. Writers, but is it any other sites, spreadsheets, all that other stuff? It's uh, supposed to use a lot of the other ones. 
It's just um, I haven't installed the back end. There's a uh, if you install the full Open Office on your computer, that's with the, on the server. It'll use those files to do that, in, but I haven't done that. Does, does every user have to install that? Or it just no, it's on the server side. On the server, so you can run all those different files, share all those different files. I, I don't know about being like Excel sheets and, and those other things, but for, for document, like Word docs, I know it does DOC, DOT, uh, TXT, you know, text file based things. Uh, the reason I'd say that it doesn't work well with the others is because in my instance, it'll show up all of my files. So, like this is one of my class things I was just editing. Uh, oh, it does work. And this is, oh, it's because it's an ODT file. So this is feminist and technology for my uh, uh, master's class I'm taking right now, but um, I did a few in doc format with DLCX and I get these errors. And I think that's because I don't have full open office installed or the newest version. Because <coughs> I'm running Debian server headless with no X on it or anything. It's a real uh, stripped down version. Um, so that's, I think that's why I'm getting these errors. Um, as for apps, I think I need to mute my phone. <laughs> How much time we have? You'll have to stop uh, this time. Three minutes or something? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll deal with that later. They'll, uh, they'll, they'll let us know the end of shut it down. Right. So as the, as the admin user, you can install and remove those plugins or applications. So these are the, the six default ones that are enabled. Like pictures, you're supposed to be able to view all your pictures, uh, contacts, calendars. You can run a slideshow also from the pictures thing, but uh, this, I think it uses HTML5, and I think this laptop's low 200 power to run that. Uh, but as for running apps, it takes a minute for this to come up. Again, I think it's because of the back end, my server is it's kind of on the low end. Um, you can run this from uh, from your web host, uh, like A2 hosting, or, or uh, you can either do it as a shared host, or you can do it as your own VPS solution. <laughs> um, or there's, if you go to the own cloud website, they, they have suggested uh, hosts that you can go through. There are some free editions if you want to try it out. They give you like a gig of space to play around with it. As you can tell, I'm like a one point version behind the newest version, so it tells you to update. It it will do the update in the background for you. Or you tell it to update, and it goes through and pulls all the new files. It does the updates. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to do it, so I typically wait. And I don't know what it's doing. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the that responsive site. So these are in the gray are all the uh, ones that are enabled. So it's like PDF viewer, pictures, text search. Um, we can come down here to encryption. You can turn on encryption, and it'll encrypt on the server side. Uh, it, it encrypts to the user's password. So the first time they go log in. They go walk them through setting up their key. I don't have that enabled, but you can do that. You can right. user's password user for the software. The own cloud user, right. Um, May I have your attention, please? The time is now 8.30, and the library will be closing in 30 minutes at 9 o'clock. Please be advised that the internet will shut down 10 minutes before closing. Thank you. There's a lot of other things. This new one is really cool. It's a replacement. It, it could be a full replacement for Google Reader. Um, I, I used that for a while until I had some issues uh, when I was doing a database conversion and crapped out. And I just never went back to RSS feeds and Atom feeds. Um, 
and it'll go through and it, you use it, your web browser as the reader. So it'll bring it all together and then you can sort through and read. And, uh, it'll either put all the feeds together in, in line or you can separate out and click on it and do individual feeds. Um, there's, I think it's Postman, or, uh, Password Manager you can set up. Um, there's some messaging you can add in. There's um, add your app. So this is how to go in and create your own application. Don't have the link offhand to where the um, repository is. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a there's a big repository of everybody that's created their apps and they've already have it available. So, any questions? I've been running it for uh, three years, and I've run it for version five, six, and seven. Um, I played with it when it was like version two, but I really didn't have a good use case at that time. Um, but like I said, now I back up my all my files between laptops, and uh, it automatically does a sync. Um, so uh, one thing I did with it is I was editing a script in in my GUI on my laptop, but I was running the script on my server. So I would I would edit it here within, I would say, 15 seconds. The script is already updated, and I could run it on the, the server. And I didn't have to do any other uh, file or commands or anything. Wow. Uh, switching between editors other than the two windows that I was already using. How if all you want to do is use the file syncing section to like back up your stuff, you don't have to teach her anything. You you go through and do the setup, and it just runs in the background. You call it what directory or what folder. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So if you go in, uh, similar to here, you can say add folder, and you can either use uh, a new folder on your computer and then sync to a new one, or you can create a or use one that's already on there and have it pull down all the files. Um, so her laptop hard drive dies. All you have to do is reinstall <coughs> the client and tell it to resync her folders, and it'll pull everything back down for her. Um, so say if we use that. And then this is all my folders I have on the server already. I can choose documents and click add folder. <coughs> and it adds it right to the list. And now it's going to start syncing down all my documents. Um, it takes some time. It'll it'll uh, alert you or show you how much it's doing. And, uh, see, it, it just went through and checked those other two folders. And then soon you'll see it start sinking in. Um, yeah, I got a question. Uh, if you don't set your own on cloud, you're hosting it yourself. Uh, what service does it use to store all the files, and how big is it? Reliable is it? That sort of stuff. I mean, Dropbox is probably pretty reliable. Yeah. Well, I, I think it's really re reliable. It, it really depends on your hardware. So oh, as, it's like, always hosted on your hardware? You can, well, you have different options. You can either host it on your own hardware or you can host it with another host. And you just pay for whatever their host. Or like on mine, okay. I have a terabyte hard drive. So I bought a terabyte hard drive from a friend for 20 bucks and added it in here. And now I have a terabyte of uh, sync. Good friend. So, so basically, it's not like Dropbox where they're offering a service. It's you can use it on wherever you want to have it hosted, but you have to pay for it if it's an outside service. Correct. 
Yeah, okay. So if you hire somebody reliable, you're in good shape. If you hire somebody flaky, you're not so good. That's right. So the one thing you need is the registrar, right? Yeah, you need a name. So uh, the, the, don't, the DNS, you can use uh, either something like a no IP or um, what you DNS. Duck DNS. Dying DNS. Dying DNS is uh, only a pay version now, so if you want to pay for it, that works. Oh. The I.